Thanks for stopping by this week. I really appreciate it. I'm glad you're coming back to look at my videos. Today we're going to talk about something pretty cool that happens in Fresno a couple of times a month. A great event. A lot of arts involved. Stick around so we can talk about it. Okay, you ready to talk about artsy stuff? It's the Fresno Art Hop in Fresno that we have twice a month. The Fresno Art Hop began way over 23 years ago with artist galleries coming together to showcase all their fantastic work. At that time, it was just an art crawl. This event has transformed to the most active and anticipated public arts in downtown Fresno. Fresno Art Hop is a monthly show that takes place every first and third Thursday of each month from the hours of 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. You are not required to pay a fee to access the exhibits, gallery shows, special performances, and unique arts experiences on display at the event. However, you are advised to take some money with you as there is a lot you may want to buy. Care to know more about the Fresno Art Hop and the fun you'll be missing if you do not attend? Well, stand by as we unravel all the Fresno Art Hop experiences. Fresno Art Hop offers you the opportunity to meet up with great artists, check out great art galleries, and enjoy live music performances. Some snacks and wine are provided at some of the art studios to make you feel at home. If you are someone who has not been to Fresno Art Hop before, you are advised to check out the map and brochure circulated by the Fresno Arts Council. By the way, the Fresno Art Council is the body responsible for the organizing the Fresno Art Hop. And they have done very well in that regard, as the event has never lacked fun. Kudos to them, and let us hope they keep up that good work. On the brochure, you will notice that only two Art Hop nights are on it. This translates to the two days a month as stated above that the events occurs. The Fresno Art Hop is a well-planned event. For a beginner, it is recommended that you start on the first Thursday, which a uh, jam-packed downtown and Tower District Art Hop locations. The third Thursday, on the other hand, is for metropolitan and remote areas. The Betty Rodriguez Library, Clovis Community College, and Earth Art Studio by Margaret Hudson are the locations on the third Thursday schedule. What is the cost of the Fresno Art Hop? As stated earlier, admission to the Fresno Art Hop is free. But to have an eventful experience at the Art Hop, the smart move is to bring dollars along. <laughs> there will there'll be food trucks littered here and there, and you do not want to miss any of the delicious Taco Barbecue. Some stores and businesses have developed the idea to host artists during the art hop. The notable stores that do this are Ampersand Ice Cream and Root General Store. Trust me, you do not want to miss the delicious stuff while you're on tour at the art studios. Now, are you allowed to buy the art? This question is very relevant. Because who goes to an art gallery, sees an artwork you love, and just finds that you're not able to buy it. Well, at the Art Hop, you are certain to get artworks that will have a price tag on them. If you see an artwork that you fancy and there's no price tag on it, you can ask the artist if it's for sale and for what price. Though asking the price does not mean the piece will be available for sale. However, the artist will be glad that people fancy their work and would pay money to own it. For a guide on what shows are happening in a month for the Fresno Art Hop, you should check out the Fresno Art Hop Guide Facebook page. They offer ongoing updates and upcoming events and a lot more. If you happen to check into M Street, it has a cluster of art spaces that might be worth your time. 
The M Street Art Complex has a combination of artist studios and galleries where artists display their works. The Fresno State Graduate Art Studio is right next door, and the works of the school's graduate students and Fresno State faculty are always on exhibition for you to enjoy. Do you want a gallery that offers live music on the go? Then from N Street, find your way over to Tuolumne towards Fulton Street. Jewel FM Art Gallery is one of the livelier spots. Also, they have a broadcast studio that you can take a peek at. Now, Frank's Place at Warner's Theater is just across the street. These locations offer pop-up shops and food trucks where you can grab a bite. Behind Jewel FM Art Gallery, there is Broadway Studios that are covered in murals on the outside and they have numerous artists with beautiful artwork inside. There is just a whole lot within walking distance and your art hop experience will be nice. How do you end your art hop experience? People have various ways they end their art hop night. Some drop by at Amperstand to get a scoop of art and ice cream, while some head to the Full Circle Brewing Company or Tioga Sequoia Brewing Company. Now, Full Circle Brewing Company is open every day and especially on Thursdays when Fresno Art Hop takes place. They're open from 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. and you can drop by after your Fresno Art Hop tour. They have beers brewed at full capacity on site and there is always live entertainment. It's always beautiful and fun to be at Full Circle Brewery Company. If you're a lover of pizza, then you should not miss Full Circle Brewery Pizza. In addition, the ambiance is also conductive to have a restful evening with neon lights and artwork that features a skull mascot. Before I forget, Full Circle Brewery is located at 712 Fulton Street in Fresno. Try not to miss out on this venue. Now, Tioga Sequoia Brewing Company, located at 745, is also on Fulton Street. Fresno is not a place you'll forget in a hurry if you visit it after the Fresno Art Hop. Apart from richly crafted beers, they host events every week. They open on Thursdays from 3 p.m. to 12 a.m. when Fresno Art Hop takes place. Tioga Sequoia Brewing Company has food trucks, around where you can buy delicious meals while you're there. Now let's talk about some of the art galleries. There's Deprise Bresca Art Gallery. It's a unique art and design space. It radiates positive energy and great vibes are what you're going to get from the artworks at this display. The owner of the gallery is an extremely talented woman. Her works feature transformational all energy, incorporating history, metaphysics, and new age. This is one of the places you should visit if you're into metaphysical arts and that is the thing for you. Now there's the Fresno Art Museum. This is a small museum compared to the others. However, the artworks available are mouthwatering. On exhibition are modern art, Mesco-American artifacts, and both local and international artworks. The museum offers classes, lectures, field trips, events, and more to the local community. Fresno Art Museum was established in 1949 by a group of local artists from Fresno Art League and it has stood the test of time till this moment and there is no sign this art museum will be packed up soon because of its rich cultural art and collections. Then there's Vernissage. It is a fine art gallery exhibiting up and coming and established California painters, sculptures, and ceramicists. It was found and is owned by award-winning French artist Mele. 
Furthermore, it is situated between Fresno City College and Fresno High School, and they offer an ongoing class for students who want to explore rich art. While the list of the best art galleries is endless, all of them cannot be mentioned here. You are advised to pick out one of the up and coming Fresno art hops and experience it yourself. Although you may ask, where do I start from? There is no wrong or right place to start. You just have to start somewhere and have fun. Like I said, this is just a glimpse of the Fresno Art Hop. It's something you really must experience for yourself when you got time, head on out there. The, whichever Thursday works out for you, enjoy yourself, talk to people, just look at the beautiful artwork and great artists that are out there. I should have another video right around here for you to look at that I think you'll enjoy. Uh, please drop a line, give me a call, contact me if you got any questions. Until next time, this is Mike Bustamani with Fresno Keller Williams.